Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' is D-Boss here to this Lorraine video. This is responding to hate comments. Y'all told me to react to this video. Y'all said it was hilarious. So let's see what he has to say to these hate ass comments. Let's watch. Okay. <laughs> that got me fucked up. Oh, where's the intro? L. Hey, how are you? Um, that's me, Larry. Oh my god, sidetracked. The other day I got a comment telling me to straighten my hair. And I have never in my life straightened my hair before, so I wanted to see what the fuck was gonna happen. I knew there wasn't anything good that was gonna happen out of that because, bitch, look at me. Because you're not that cute and your hair is uneven. You look dusty. Yeah, I'm not to me. I just felt like it was time. I felt like it was like something I had to do. I'm gonna stop him right there. Bitch, this should have been the last thing you did. <laughs> Okay. He look like one of those emo kids. <laughs> Bitch is giving very much. What my life yes. This is my last resort. That's exactly what I was thinking. As you guys can tell by the title, this is going to be a responding to hate comment video. <laughs> So back in the day when my YouTube journey just started, you know, I was new to the block. I didn't really receive much hate, but then, you know, I started really? hanging out with um, the... And <laughs> let's just say it just went down from there. But no, seriously, no matter who you are or what you do, people are going to find a reason not to like you and we'll talk Fair. shit about you. That's how life works. It's fucking weird. See, I don't really focus on the hate, you know? I'm really all about focusing on the positive things, which is y'all, and I know how this is gonna sound corny as f I literally would not be here without y'all. Like, I would probably be, like, in college depressed or something, but now I'm, like, a YouTuber depressed, but it's okay. <laughs> I really do appreciate the love and support, and I know this is soft, and I hate being soft because I hate showing emotion, but honestly, really appreciate y'all because y'all are literally bringing me happiness when I'm fucking sad, and I'm always sad. And I'm more confident in myself than I've ever been, and that's only because of y'all. Like, you literally tell me that I'm pretty every day, even though I know you're lying, because I'd be looking like shit, and y'all be like, guys, please. Slave her, mama. But before I even, oh, do I even have to say it? I feel like we're here. You know, we see each other. I see. You. We good. Okay. We good. We I see. see we see each, each other. We see each other. You've been here multiple times. You know the drug guys. Sorry, let's go. Yeah, that's it. It's 11:36 a.m. I need something to wake me up, but I want something exciting. I need something like really great, like late. Casey Musgraves up in this bitch. I want something indie. <laughs> I feel like we need to spread more positivity in this world. You know what I mean? So do your part today and just comment down that I look pretty. Thanks. Check this out. A boxing match, right? Pay-per-view and all of that. And the first opening match is me versus James Charles. Now, <laughs> I want all this sister smoke. There, I said it. That's not even the main pitch. Ready? Then the second final match, Miss Olivia Rodrigo versus Sabrina Carpenter. I want to see it. There, I said it. I don't know if their beef is real or if this is like a PR stunt, but I will say, and I'm oh, biased because I like both of them so fucking much. If I made a song pouring out my heart talking about some, that blonde bitch made me insecure. And then the blonde bitch made a song saying, and I did, what about it? And I still got your man. <gasps> Miss Olivia, if you don't get your driver's license, get in your vehicle and run that bitch over. I'm just thinking, like, if I was Olivia and someone made a song like that about me, oh, I would be driving past your street. Mm hmm I would drive past, and then it would turn into a drive-by. Wait. Guys, let me go. Let me go. I'm gay. And black. <laughs> You see this? This is me two days ago trying to film this exact video, but you wanna know why I didn't get to finish it? Bitch, I'm a motherfucking cancer. I am a cancer, which means, uh, wait, why am I literally being that bitch? Oh my gosh. I'm literally that bitch at parties that be like, oh, choose zodiac sign. I am a Gemini, my rising's a Virgo. Like, shut up. But no, seriously, I'm a cancer, so my feelings scare a little bit. But the second gag, it takes a lot to hurt my feelings, you know, especially since I'm like <laughs> gay and black. It takes a lot to just really get me there because bitch, I got a lot of trauma in the back of my head. So I'm a strong bitch. My trauma has me strong and ready to go. But yesterday when I was filming this video, I stumbled across a comment. And that comment said, is it just me? Or Lorraine looks like a shrimp that shops at Urban Outfitters. What? What does that even mean? A shrimp that shops at Urban Outfitters. But I'm past that, you know, I'm all about 
picking a leap and moving forward. So we're gonna continue this video. We're gonna retry it. And this time I'm gonna try not to see my feelings hurt. So let's begin. <laughs> Horrible and gay. Oh, I think she just gave me a cute little nickname. Thank you. He looks like the gay in Elite Chopper. She looks like the gay in Elite Chopper. That's I mean, what. Yes, the audience. Like, you don't know who Elite Chopper is. He's like one of those, like, you know what I'm talking about? No. With those, you know? He's like a. <laughs> Rapper or something. You sound like a girl. It's disgustingly annoying. Is this better for you? Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, now I'm going from Lorraine to corpse. Back it up, Dark Vader. You're too gay. Bitch, your name is Jakisha. Shut up. Bitch, I may be gay, but at least my name isn't like an STD. Wait, okay, I feel bad now. Suck a dick and die. Okay, girl, I'm gay. gay. That's like telling me to breathe. <laughs> I think <laughs> Santa's Not ugly, ugly, dumb, gay bitch. You know what? I may be ugly, dumb, and a bitch, but I am not gay. What? What? <laughs> I said that so wrong. Redo. You know what? I may be a dumb, gay, ugly bitch. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, this one's creative. The black people versus Lorraine. Charges, whitewash, token black friend, being unfunny. Perfect. Guilty. Case closed. Next case. So I came across this Reddit page. It's like a thread of people just having conversations about topics. And the topic of this thread is my lovely, scrumptious, white Caucasian, white man John Smith boyfriend in the other room. Hey, baby, I love you. The conversation of the thread is basically about how attractive my boyfriend is. But then it turns into a thread constantly bashing me for my looks and why he's with me. But, um, yeah. Somebody posted on this thread, how did Lorraine even manage to snatch such a snack? He's ugly. And then someone quote tweeted that response and said, Money and internet fame. <laughs> this motherfucker is way too sexy to be clapping the cheeks of that ugly ass bitch. <laughs> Let me just quickly respond to every single gay on this website that are constantly bashing me for my looks and my relationship. There's a huge difference between y'all and me. And that is, while you guys are sitting on this page worried about my relationship, I'll be sitting somewhere else, preferably in Quite frankly, we aren't the same, and most definitely not in the same tax bracket. So enjoy sitting alone tonight. Good luck on Grinder. Trump hates gays. Trump also lost. <laughs> this it reminds me of James Charles. Hey, hey, straight boys, up here. I understand your brain capacity can only take so much of the gay community because you have the brain size of a fucking pea. Just because a homosexual man talks flamboyant or wears makeup doesn't make him James Charles. <laughs> Y'all are so dumb. Like, what if I just kept putting straight men in the same category as a pile of shit? And they are the same, bitch. I know he's black, but he's giving very much Michael Jackson tease. Hee hee! I don't know how y'all enjoy his content. He's so annoying. Aww. That follow back button is so cute. The forehead reveal, damn. And <laughs> right? That follow back. About wanting a forehead reveal. Okay. I feel like I can be 100% authentic with y'all if I'm just not living my true self. So I feel like it's just time at this point. And I feel like we're family now. So I'm gonna do it. You know, fuck it. I'm gonna, what? We'll send it, you know? Mm. Hey. Uh. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm gonna fucking do this. I'm actually gonna do it. One, two. Ah, this is crazy. One, two, three. Uh, wait, I got so are we going to ignore the fact that Lorraine locked Lisa in the dungeon I just, just to make out what Trump did to James <laughs> Oh, I missed it. I can't rewind either. Damn. <laughs> Let me clear this narrative because a lot of people think I ditched him to go hang out with that hype out bitch. Lisa moved back at home to go focus on himself and be near his family. And we're still best friends. We still talk every day, weirdos. Ravon, where's Lisa? At home. Are we still friends with him? Yeah, we talk to him every day. Now shut up! Is it just me or Lorraine got super unfunny and annoying after he joined the Hype House? Just say you hate the Hype House and go about your day. I'm gonna say this one time and one time only. I am still the same bitch. No amount of money, no amount of clout, no amount of anybody can change that. The only thing that has changed about me is that I'm growing up as an adult and I have baby fever. That's literally it. <laughs> is it just me or Lorraine turned white? How the fuck I do that? You know what? If the internet says I'm white, bitch, I must be white. So it's no longer Lorraine to y'all. It's Lawrence, the third adult. <laughs> Lorraine, I'm not gay, but I totally will let you eat my... Okay. You know what? We're done for today. Hey! hey. Best friend is <laughs> What you mean you will let him eat your ass? Oh, there's an ending. Okay, it was just him getting noticed in public and him being nice. Um, it was a couple things I wanted to say. Fuck. Okay, when I saw Jeffree Star, now every time I see Jeffree Star, I crack up because a couple weeks ago I was getting my lashes done <laughs> and I was listening to this podcast called The Read and a dude on there, he called Jeffree Star Gollum's Drag Race and I died. <laughs> so fucked up. 
Gollum's Drag Race, bitch. So now every time I see Jeffrey, I think of that. Even though I think he looks more like um, Voldemort than Gollum, but you know that's that's just that. But child, Jeffrey. Anyway, uh, it was something else I wanted to say. Oh, I didn't uh, I didn't see that comment at first because I was talking, but it seems like he they said something about how he's not funny no more without Issa. Oh, so are we going to ignore the fact that Larray locked Issa in the dungeon just to hang out with Charlie and Jay? <laughs> not locked him in the dungeon. Um, yeah, but about him not being funny anymore, I've been seeing that in my comments. People are like, oh, you shouldn't react to Larray anymore. He's not funny and da da da. People are always telling me what not to react to. By the way, that's really annoying. When I'm looking for stuff to actually react to, your comment pops up about what I shouldn't react to. I'm gonna start blocking people who do that. That's annoying. <laughs> I'm looking for requests and you tell me what not to watch. How does that help me find out what to watch? Anyway. Um, but yeah, this was a cool video. It, it was decent. Y'all told me it was hilarious. I don't know, that's kind of reach. But um, you know, some of the comments were funny. Him talking about <laughs> he looked like the gay and all you chopper. That was funny. But you know, most of the comments they're by children, so they're not even like funny at all. Children are not funny. They're just corny. Like, so they say, oh, I hate you. You look like a broke down Will Smith. Like, they say the dumbest shit. And it's like, bro, this is not funny. Shut up. <laughs> Y'all are so corny. But uh, a couple of these were actually funny. Anyway, uh, this is a decent video. Y'all let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other videos you want me to watch. And I'll see y'all next time.